Okay, ma'am, I'm recording for my own safety. The speed limit is 65. I was going 60, 66, and you're on my back, and then you tailgate me, and then you go, and then you go faster than me. You're off of the lot. The speed limit st states at 65, so you are not allowed to go past that speed limit. Period. What makes you think just because you're an officer yeah, that license. what did I do wrong? I would like to identify. I do not have to. I did not commit a, c yes, a crime. Yes, you do. What was my crime? Please tell me the charges I committed. Charge uh, 214. Can you come by 20? Please tell me the crime I committed. I wanted to have a proper conversation with you to let you know that I can't catch people that are doing 80. What is the law saying that you are allowed to go faster than 65 unless it's an emergency? Please tell me the NRS code that states that or the DMV code the traffic law states that you can do that. No, please state to me. I I'm evoking my Fifth Amendment right. Do you know what, what my Fifth Amendment right is? No, I don't tell you. Okay. The Florida law states that whatever charge of crime you're committing me of, you have to go ahead and state that and show it to me therein. Okay. So please tell me the NRS, the, the NRS code that states that you are allowed to go faster than faster than 65 unless it's an emergency. Trying to enforce public safety because my radar was flashing 75, 78, 79. So somebody up there is speeding. And nine times out of ten when they're speeding... They're making unsafe lane changes. Right. Ma'am, you were way behind me, ma'am. I, I saw you long ago, and you you came really quick up along me, and well, check my phone. My cruise control is yeah, now. I have a breathalyzer, okay? It records everything. So, so it records my safety. I stay at 65, unless, and I use my, my cruise control. So I'm glad that you're doing the speed limit and all that, but I'm just trying to let you know uh -huh. that my radar is flashing 78. Okay. So again, please ask, tell me. Oh, uh, you can get it for 127. Please tell me what crime I committed. Or what breathless good saying states you that. You haven't committed any. So I do not have to uh, give your ID or identify myself because I'm, because yes, I, you do. no, I, no, I do not. I'm, I, I am not under, I have not committed a crime, and I'm not under arrest. It states in the law. It's my constitution from, for, for my, my safety. safety. If I ask you, first off, I just wanted to have a conversation with you. Okay. Letting you know, instead of having a conversation with 65 miles an hour, that my radar was flashing, I was trying to catch somebody up there, right? Okay. That's my God-given right to protect the safety of the community. When somebody's doing any up there, they're normally six seconds out of traffic. That makes it unsafe for a 92-year-old grandma. And I don't like that because my mother drives these roads, okay? And if I can't get around you because there was a silver vehicle in front of me in the uh, HOV lane. Because they were going to speed limit. Perhaps. Right, but... So... So if someone was going 70 and your radar was going off, they obviously would have went past me and you wouldn't be able to see that. But you were behind me for quite a bit. So please explain to me how it is if your radar, radar went past 70 and no one's passing me that you detected that. Well, I'm just detecting my... Detecting the radar device. Okay, you're equipping your radar device. So you're on paper? Am I on paper? Yeah. As far as what? For on probation? Uh-huh. I do not have to identify myself. I don't. I have not committed a crime. I don't think you have any Fourth Amendment rights for your own paper. I don't have to disclose anything. And if you really want to go down that road, no, I'm, I'm, no, I'm not a station or parole. Just satisfy. You need to go ahead and try information for me. Because I have the right to drive on public roadways in the U.S. without any infringement upon me or papers check. See, this is, I just wanted to have a conversation with you. And I'm just letting you know that you're an officer of the law and you're supposed to uphold it. So you shouldn't be speeding or tailgating. If I tailgated you, you would have pulled me over immediately. But 
but you had no idea what I was doing. If you really had the emergency the second you got around me, you would have took you would have took off to go get to go get that person, but you didn't. No, because I felt like I I owed you an explanation. Okay, what's more important? Give me an explanation and protecting the roads and and safety is you're so steady you're trying to uphold. Oh, by the way, Van Ellen. No, that's fine. <laughs> and my badge number is four eight three for the record. No, that's fine. Yeah, but we're just waiting on them. No, that's fine. Sergeant can come up. Not a problem. And they'll give you some um further education. Further education, ma'am. I've been researching law and all the rights that I have and the thing is is that Officers don't like it when people know the See, law. And this, this is, this is the strategy, because I, w I just wanted to like give you an explanation rather than to do it at sixty-five miles an hour. No, that was your choice to do, to do it. I'm gonna let you. And you, and you're, you're not even receptive. The fact is that you're pulling me over to have a conversation, and now you're having a sergeant come out because I won't identify myself for your safety. But obviously, if you had a concern for your safety, you would be the whole me at a uh, point, and you wouldn't have to push my window. You would have backed up and went to your vehicle by now and waited for your supervisor if, if you were really that concerned for your safety. So explain to me how it is if you're still concerned for your safety, if you're still standing here having a conversation with me. And I'm being very eloquent. I'm not cursing, not being rude. I'm just saying my rights. And, it, and it, I'm all for that. You know, and and that's the tragedy, you know, because you're not even receptive to a conversation. Because of the fact that I tried to state to you that you don't have the right to speed. I'm, I'm tired of seeing these officers go speeding, and then someone goes in, does the same speed as them, and then they get pulled over. That's entrapment. That's not right. You're supposed to uphold the law. You took an oath. You're supposed to know the law on top of that. So when I asked... What NRS code or violation that I want to commit or infraction? You're supposed to, as an officer of the law, state that. That's supposed to be your knowledge. You're supposed to know it. And the fact that you can't give me one is very concerning. Mm I mean, I don't understand that the cops are allowed to speed, and if she truly had an exit, she would have left, but then, for her safety, she needs to identify me. And now, her supervisor is here, is to go ahead and speak to me about whatever it is that he needs to speak to me because I refuse to to present my identification. Even though I'm not being charged with a crime, I have not committed a crime, and I'm not under arrest. And the sergeant's name is, um, uh, Bugs Bunny, from what I can see. And now I have a third deputy... Because of the fact that I refuse to identify myself. So as you can see, officers of the law, they're trying to go ahead and use the legal tactics. And it's sad that she still cannot present me with, with an arrest court, court or state statute that I did something wrong. To make, to make me have to present my identification. Because she, it's staying, she's not writing me a ticket. Hmm. Hello, it's Bugs, Bugs Bunny, Sergeant Patrol. How are you doing today? 
I've been better. I'm just a little upset about the fact that true officers saying saying that the laws are isn't is very professional that's stating that he's violating, but she's stating that I have not committed a crime or a judge. So I do not have to identify myself and if and if she really felt that for her safety, she would have stepped away from my window and she would have went until your supervisor came to assess the situation. Obviously she's still standing here standing here having a full conversation with me for eight minutes. She obviously does not have the and for your safety, she she just wants to do a papers check because I know I wants to, runs the ID. It goes into the database, shows that I have an actual law enforcement, and I don't and I do not have it on, on my record, so I do not have to declare my identity because I have not committed a crime. I'm not under arrest. Yeah, you, you you're right. You're not under arrest at the moment, but you were detained. Well, she never stated that, officer. All right. Anytime a uh. uh Anytime the emergency vehicle stops you, you are detained. Okay, just let you know. All right, you may not be under arrest, but you are detained at that moment. But I still don't have to present my ID. I still don't have to present my ID. Technically, by law, you don't have to present your ID, but but by law, you do have to state your name. No, I do not. And that's presenting my my identification on that. Okay. I'm not gonna argue with you. After speak with you, you're free to go. But it's stating you have to state your name. And advise your officer that she's an officer of law. If I had tailgated her the way she tailgated me, you guys would have pulled me over in a heartbeat. I I'm not gonna argue with you about that. See, I didn't see that. Uh, after speak with her, you're free to go. Okay. I'll be making a formal complaint to, to, to just to just to let your officer officer know that she was driving unsafely. W what I do with my officers it don't matter, which is not public record. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's fine. Um, I'm just gonna I'm just letting you know th know that I'll be making a formal complaint to just to let your officer know that she does not have the authority to tailgate or to speed, unless it's an emergency. Okay, I'm not gonna debate any of that. Okay, okay. I have to speak with her. You're free to go. Okay. All right. Just, just, just be careful. When it's time for one, just, just be careful. Okay. Yep. And that's how you get out of it. Thank you very much.